Hey, what's up guys, this is Marcos, and today I'm testing out the EOS HD Pro Color 3.0 one more time because uh, I was running more tests and I noticed there was a color shift when I used my ND filter. This thing I have is an ND filter I sometimes use. So on my last video, I was comparing the, oops, the Sony's picture, standard picture profile to the EOS Pro Color 3.0. And I noticed that the EOS was more, it had like a brownish tone. And I wasn't expecting that. I thought it, would, it was gonna look much better. On the last video, I was shooting with this ND filter, and now I'm not. So that's what I'm gonna compare, and maybe you can see that there's a color shift when you use an ND filter. That's something I did not expect. I thought this was not gonna affect the color in any way, but it turns out there is. So right now you're looking at the Pro Color, 3.0 without any ND filter. And now I'm gonna put on this ND filter. So now you're looking at the Pro Color 3.0 with an ND filter. The only thing that changed, of course, was the shutter speed. Now it's at 150th. Before it was higher, I don't remember, I don't remember the exact number. Um, so if you see a color shift, uh, it's not supposed to be there. ND filters are not supposed to uh, cause any color shifts but if there is now you know now just for the fun of it i'm just gonna try out the pp off that comes out of the sony camera and see if there's any color shifts as well okay so this is uh sony's pp off standard picture profile with an nd filter on the camera this is the standard picture profile off on the sony without an nd filter Okay, so now I'm back at the original EOS HD Pro Color 3.0 without an ND filter. Uh, so you can kind of compare the difference in color. Uh, please let me know what you think, or what you prefer. I, I still have to look at it and compare the colors. And if there is a difference in color from having an ND filter and not having one, then that's something you should look out for. And also for me, because uh, usually when I'm shooting YouTube videos, I use an ND filter and uh, you know it's just important to realize what an ND filter can do to your colors and before I go please let me know if you know of any custom picture profiles or settings that you know of or are aware of that you've used um, I'm always open to experiment so um, as always I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video